Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to do a review for Fighting More VR, a game on the Steam Store for every headset. It normally retails for 15 bucks. It's currently 10% off. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program. I've tested this game both on the Oculus Rift and Windows Mixed Reality. I'm currently on Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, this is my final review. I did an earlier review, review, but I decided to go ahead and delete that video because I don't think it was an accurate representation of the game anymore. Uh, the dev has been responsive to my issue, and the issue has been resolved. So I wanted to give the game a fair chance and play it some more. That way I can do a proper review. Now, I didn't finish the game, but I did do what I wanted to do with earlier with my earlier reviews. I wanted to at least finish chapter one and do some of chapter two that way i can you know fairly say that i have a good at least first two hours of the game and a good understanding of the basic core mechanics of the game that way i can give you all a fair review obviously i haven't finished the game uh i'll be honest i'm not really interested in finishing the game i've played it enough that i think i can give you an accurate description of the gameplay uh my main problem with the game is that there is a very repetitive game loop in the game and you're going to be feeling that during your first two hours in the game where you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again and basically the gameplay loop is you get into combat enemy spawn there's like a little interlude enemy spawn and then you just run around you use your different spells you know kill them all rinse and repeat there's another interlude and there's just seems to be like endless waves like there's a wave you kill all of them there's an interlude there's a little safe checkpoint start again and that just keeps going on and on and on for for chapter one i'm not sure there's a good reason for that especially when a lot of the waves felt exactly the same and that's really my main criticism of the game is how yes there's more waves as you go on but i didn't really notice much difference between a lot of them now, some new enemies were introduced. I'm now in the second chapter, and thankfully the, the environment now looks different, and the gameplay changed a little bit here. So I wanted to show you. So we've been stuck in the same gameplay loop. I, I did unlock the bow and arrow. And here you have to push enemies out of bounds. So it's a little bit of a change-up on the gameplay. Not a big change-up, because, you know, before... Uh, you just have to kill all the enemies and then you move on to the same edge. The only diff the only thing, the only variation on that was that for one, you had to kill a specific type of enemy versus the other type of enemies. So that the go the bow and arrow is pretty cool. And what I didn't realize is that you can use that as an attack. So I thought that was just a way to move fast, but in fact, it is a powerful attack as well. So you can use be both used. Defensively, offensively, and just, you know, just to move faster. Enemy down. Yippee! Okay. So, I think enemies can push you to the edge. Wow, one spawned right on top of me. Well, this is, he's going to be easy Grab to get bow. out. Attack! Are they both out? No? Enemy down. Yippee! There we go. So you want to be careful because enemies can push you as well down. out of bounds. So My rocks. Got him, boys. you want to be careful here. Sometimes it's just hard to tell when enemies. My rocks. Got him, boys. Okay. So this is what I mean by the gameplay loop that happens. You know, enemies. There's a little interlude. There's an announcer. She talks. You go right back to another wave. The announcer. The voiceovers are very annoying. They repeat very often. At this point, I'm not sure what what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to fall off the edge? Are we supposed to jump down? Even though the Chapter 2 environment does look different, a lot of the themes are repeated. Like, you still have this yellow brick road. Uh, these cherry blossom trees are new. 
and there is big lag spikes. So I've had several frame rate drops, frame rate frame rate issues. Just they just pop up all of a sudden. I'm not sure why. It seems to happen randomly. I thought it was at first with the amount of enemies on screen, but that's not always true. Reshoot hot fire. Let's ride. Got him, boys. Just one stop. Let's ride. So as you can see, it, it can be fun. Like this game might be for some people, uh, because using the four different abilities him, boys. gives it some variety, some variation to the gameplay, and it does make it quite challenging with all the enemies on screen. And definitely, when you combo them all together, it can be pretty fun at times. Can't really say I've I've had fun myself though, but I could see this being fun for some people. Uh, definitely the bow and arrow is definitely really good. I like the bow and arrow. It doesn't have a big cooldown. Like, you can use it pretty often, actually. See, I'm I can already use it again. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the, of the boulder or the hammer. But I really like this ability, the speed ability that crushes enemies. And also like the bow and arrow. And you get those later on, like you start with the boulder and the hammer, which, to be honest, just aren't aren't the most fun to use. But when you combo the bow and arrow and with the speed ability, it can be fun to use those. Got him, boys. He's on the top row. We should have lost And you see the voiceover just repeats herself very often. She says a lot of the same things. I'm not sure anything she says is really relevant. And I don't know if you notice there, but there's some really big lag spikes there. I don't know if it's all the effects going on. Maybe that's what it is. Be careful with the hand that you grab the bow and arrow with is the hand that you'll use it with. So if you're right-handed, you don't want to grab it with the right hand. You want to grab it with the left hand and vice versa. Okay. So this is the gameplay loop that I've been talking about. It's just, it's just, this is just what happens over and over again. Um, it can be fun, but it's just so repetitive that I doubt there it is. I'm supposed to go over there. <sighs> so I'm going to change my score. I'm going to rate this a 5 out of 10. I definitely see some effort there. Uh, this is, I think, at least as good as the normal wave shooters out there with the different abilities. Because most of the wave shooters out there only have one or two abilities. Uh, this has four magic spells, and like I said, I really like the speed spell. I really like the bow and arrow spell, but for me, the the rock Careful. throwing and the hammer really aren't Definitely all that great. I don't know if there's future upgrades. Does, I don't think so, because I haven't seen any upgrades. The only upgrades I've seen is the, these unlockables, these four spells. Grab your hammer. And I think you're stuck with them. Um, move, move, move. They do add enemies as you go along. Like This one's a new enemy and for Chapter 2. And you see, they threw me off the edge, so now I'm dead. He's down. For heaven's sake, he's down. And she says that, and it's pretty obnoxious. Am I, boys. am I dead? Oh, this might be a bug. I'm supposed to be dead, I think, but... So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think this is a bug. I think I was supposed to die, but I didn't. Obviously, the way to fix this is to go to the main menu, I guess. If, if I, I can't see. Uh, I can't. Okay, there we go. Exit. Yes. 
fighting more. So we'll see where we where we left off. Uh, I don't want to make this a long video. I'm gonna stick with the. F I'm gonna like like I said, revise my sto my score for this game. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten, a neutral recommendation. It's not for me. It's not something that I personally enjoyed a lot, but I could see some people enjoying this type of game. Uh, and there are some fun spells. So that's basically the difference between my earlier review and this review. Earlier, I said it was just very boring, very repetitive. I still think that, but I think the new spells add some life to it and make it a little bit of fun. And there's like new types of enemies, uh, some variations to the gameplay. Like I said, having to push out enemies, it's not a big variation though. So I'm just, at the end, I'm just going to give it a 5 out of 10. I, I just think it's a mediocre melee wave shooter. I don't think it's a great one. And which way are we supposed to go? That way or this way? Careful. A fall into space could be killer. Definitely killer. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Fight. Goodbye.